How's it going everyone? Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get rid of chubby cheeks and make your face slimmer. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Please follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. So get rid of chubby cheeks, make your face slimmer. Obviously, everyone's going to say uh, lose weight, and I agree with that. Losing weight is the best way to do it. Um, there is a little trick that I will tell you, a couple little tricks that'll actually help you get rid of your chubby cheeks in a couple of days, maybe even a week. And um, you're gonna notice a huge difference. So the normal diet, um, the normal diet doctors recommend about 40 to 60% of your total calories coming from carbohydrates. And then your protein and fat intake is whatever you wanna make it. Um, I think it's like 20%, 25% fat and then like 15% protein, somewhere in those macro ratio. Um, what I like to do when I'm cutting weight is I keep my protein high, I keep my carbohydrates low, I keep my fat high. This is really different than the conventional diets that you hear. A lot of conventional diets that you'll hear will be like high protein, high carb, and then low fat. Or you'll see high fat, low carb, moderate protein, or you might see um, moderate protein, moderate fat, higher carbs. So there's so many different ways you can manipulate those macronutrients. Um, the best way to do it in my honest opinion is one, keep your protein high, two, keep your carbs low, three, keep your fats high. Now this is different than the keto diet. The keto diet is like 80% of your calories coming from fat, like no calories from carbs, and I mean like no calories, and then moderate amount of protein. So not high protein, like low to moderate. What you do with the keto diet is you switch your body from using glucose to using ketones. The thing that I don't like about this is your brain's main source of fuel is glucose. It will run on ketones, but I would not mess with your body's natural ability and what it uses for its main source of fuel. I just don't like switching with that. If your body's meant to use glucose, then use glucose. Um, needless to say, your body doesn't actually need carbohydrates to live on. You can go your whole life without eating a carb and still live. No vegetables, no fruits, none of that needed. Um, with that being said, the reason why I don't do keto, a couple of main reasons. First reason, Usually with keto, you get very, very low carbohydrates, which is fine, but you have to be very, very careful about low blood sugar. Um, I've noticed when I do uh, keto, a lot of you may not, but when I do keto, I get very, very low blood sugar. And you have to really, really watch that. Because if you let your blood sugar go low enough for a long period of time, it could lead to some bad, bad things, such as seizures. So you gotta be very, very careful. I never recommend keto to any beginners. I'll recommend it to advanced people that kind of know what they're doing, but beginners, I'll never recommend it. Um, on top of that too, you have the low energy levels. Yes, people say wait a week or two and then it gets better. It doesn't get better. Um, so what I like to do is I like to do high protein because the number one source, sorry, the number one method, no, what am I looking for here? Um, the macronutrient that fills you the most is protein. So if it if the macronutrient that fills you the most is protein, let's have a high protein. Second thing is fats take longer to digest in the body. So let's, let's make lots of fat. Um, what you will do by having a low carbohydrate intake, when I'm talking about low carbs, I mean 200 grams of carbs or lower. Keto is 50 grams or lower. That's a big, big difference. So usually when I'm cutting, I'll do about 150 grams of carbs. Now, here is the thing. Usually most people get about three to 400, sometimes 500 grams of carbs a day. If you go from eating 400 grams of carbs to 150, what this does is this will manipulate your body or uh, sorry, it will manipulate your water weight. So water weight consists of three things, your water, your carbohydrate intake and your sodium intake. Uh, by lowering our carbohydrate intake, a lot of foods um, high in carbs are also high in sodium. So two out of those three things right there, we dropped, we dropped our carbs, which naturally drops our sodium. With less sodium, you're not gonna drink as much water. So we kind of dropped all three of those. You know what's gonna happen when you do this for about a week? You're gonna drop anywhere from seven to 10 pounds your first week of doing this low carb. And what's gonna happen is your face is gonna shrink. 
substantially because a lot of times when people have fat faces, it's bloated, it's filled with water and carbohydrates. So if you get rid of that, your face is gonna get way, way slimmer. And that's no dieting or anything. That's literally just dropping your carbs. Um, one thing though is try to continue to drink um, an adequate amount of water. When you naturally drop your sodium and your carbs, you're not gonna be as thirsty, but I recommend to still get adequate amount of hydration. So end of video, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.